We are looking at figure 2.2 on page 31 of your textbook. This figure um, really goes down to the, to the definition of what sustainability is. So we said sustainability is when uh, you live today in a way that does not diminish um, or decrease the quality of life for future generations. And there are two things here that we are looking at. We are looking at the economy, so just goods and services on the one hand. And on the other hand, we have the environment. So I'm going to write, um, or environmental quality, but just let's just write environment for short. So at zero, you have a very had environmental quality and then over here you have a very good environmental quality you you have a very low economy not a lot of goods and services and here you have a very high uh, economy a lot of goods and services so if i spend all my resources if i use my entire environment and i have nothing left then i can have a maximum amount of goods and services if, however, I decide I don't want any goods and services, zero, and I just want to keep my environment intact, exactly like it is, then I have a maximum amount of environment. But obviously, n not one of these two is, is realistic. You need some goods and services in order to live. We need food, we need fuel, we need energy, and we need some environment to live as well. So there's, between these two, there's a wide a range of options I can choose and this we call our PPC curve it's called our production possibility curve so let's say this is our PPC curve of today I have the options in between here but let's say I use a lot of goods and services I'm over here somewhere so I almost use the maximum amount of goods and services and a very I allow a very low amount of environmental quality. What happens then is my environmental quality diminishes. Um, I break the environment down and I can't recover from that in the future. Um, and this causes the PPC curve to shift back, to shift down. And now I'm at a lower PPC curve in the future. So this one I'm going to call PPC future. So for instance, if I had, if I were using uh, goods and services uh, over here, let's call it goods and services two, this amount, today I would have a corresponding environmental quality to the degree of, let's call it E2. But in the future, even if I use goods and services two, I'll have environmental quality that's much, much lower of E1. You see, E1 is much lower than E2, even though my goods and services is the same. So it means if we diminish the, the, the ecology or the environment today to such a degree that there's not enough left for future generations, then they would have to choose with either the same goods and services with a lower environmental quality or the same environmental quality with a lower amount of goods and services. You see it's much lower. So they would either, they can't be here because this PPC curve does not exist anymore. They are on the inner PPC curve. If they want to keep the environment that it is today, they'd have to settle for a lesser economy. Or if they want to keep the economy as it is today, they would have to settle for a lower environmental quality. So that's, a, that's the central idea between sustainability. We on, if we're not li living sustainable, we will shift the PPC curve back and future generations would not have the same quality of life that we have today. Now the textbook draws it on two curves. I just want to explain that. So th there's the one curve that's today. The other curve is in the future. So we have uh, goods and services here and in the future we have environmental quality. E for short, I'm just going to write it that way. On both. Now, for today, we have a, a BBC curve that looks something like this. In the future, that curve is not here anymore, but we do have one that shifted back a lot. So, this is the BBC of 
today and this is the BBC of the future. Now they say if we are currently on this point on the BBC, meaning we are using, we have environmental quality of E1 and goods and services of 1, then in the future, if we want goods and services of 1, we have to settle for a much, much lower environmental quality, E2, which is much less than E1 that it was previously. Um, so that's the idea between this. You should be able to draw this very well. It's a very important curve. It's really the, the, the core behind the sustainability definition.